Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me. In case you didn't know, my name is Todd Bryson. I'm an Akashic Records practitioner. And it is likely, if you're watching this video right now, that you're one who is incarnated with the obligation and the duty to help humanity evolve past its current conditions. And um, the tricky thing in that line of work is that you cannot participate in this reality in the way that everybody else is. And, you know, nobody is going to do that job 100% perfect. Sometimes the things going on around you are going to get the best of you. Sometimes um, your awareness and your perspective are going to match that of humanity and what the current, current conditions are. But you should know that it is important that you work hard toward cultivating that awareness, that outside looking in awareness that is so crucial to the way that you participate here. And um, yeah, I want to give you a method for doing that that was revealed to me by Cryon about a week ago. And, um, you know, the information in that experience was very profound and practical, and I want to share it with you now. So. Um, about a week ago, I went to bed in frustration with the state of the world, and I was, you know, even upset with the Creator. I let the Creator know that I was disappointed in the way that things were unfolding here, and it breaks my heart to see humanity treating itself the way that it does. And um, so I asked, I went into the Akashic Records, and I asked, how can we be in the world but not of the world when everything that takes place here on the surface influences us or affects us in one way or another? And Cryon came through very, very clearly and vividly and let me know that the key to holding that awareness and to dealing with the chaos or what is perceived to be chaos in the surface is to cultivate coherence with the creator you know so then i ask of course how how do we do that and it was revealed to me and this was something that i implemented immediately and i have been carrying with me ever since <clears throat> the key to doing that is to to go to your happiest moment the most you know the happiest that you've ever been in your life bring that to the surface and never ever let it go and what happens when you do that is you start repelling everything that used to, you know, push the wrong buttons before. All the fear, frustration, and anxiety, you know, are kind of barricaded from, from influencing you. So for about the last week, maybe a little bit less, I've been walking around with a bubble of happiness that cannot be, you know, influenced or affected by anything that I observe taking place externally. And, you know, something that I'm prone to, and a lot of us are, is that we judge creation before it's reached its final stage. And give you a little example, I do this to myself. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I sat down to draw a picture. And, you know, obviously that's a long process that I'm, you know, I'm very detail oriented and I go through and make sure that everything's looking good. But before I was able to, you know, finish up, I had just started, I had created the foundation for the drawing. There was something inside of me that was chirping about how bad it was. This isn't good. This is a waste of time. This is ugly. There are so many other people who can do things better than you. So I was judging my creation before the creation even had a chance to speak for itself. Well, I eventually finished the drawing and I was very proud of it. And, you know, it made me reflect. What was that dissenting voice that was coming through before? And why was it, why did it feel comfortable speaking to me in that manner? And then, you know, I realized that I was doing the same thing to the creator, that I was judging the creation before it had reached its completion. And you should know that right now, humanity is in its final boss fight. And that there are organizations and collectives of people who are, you know, good in their nature and loving and accepting who have been unknowingly perpetuating the evil and the wrongdoing that is taking place here on this planet. Well, those collectives of people are coming into the awareness that their good nature and that their goodwill has been taken advantage of and that their trust has been manipulated and, you know, used against them. Humanity needs to realize that its trust 
is its greatest resource and those who are earning the trust should be earning that trust perpetually over and over and over again until you know the day that they pass away so sit back observe the world and let the creator create and don't judge that creation until it has reached its final form um, then you can have whatever say you want to and to the ones who have been um, perpetuating the disharmony on this planet and for these people we know you, where you are, we know who you are, and where you go after this, we will be there too. This is a game of shifting collectives. How are you shifting the collective? Are you part of the collective? Are you participating in the collective like everybody else? Or do you stand above it and do you influence from a higher perspective and higher intention? Anyway, I have some other things that I want to talk to you about too. And recently, I've been getting more clarity in my third eye. I've been getting more, um, you know, kind of weird to say it like this, but more pixels in my visualizations. Um, things are more vivid, they're more clear, and the images that I'm getting in my third eye are a lot, a lot sharper than they have been before. So I have been experiencing situations where I slip into past lives, which is very different from the normal process of doing it. Um, you know, and let me explain how I did that or how it's happening. <clears throat> okay. So I have been doing a lot of quantum contemplation where I sit down and I contemplate, the, you know, the quantum nature of reality versus the linear nature of reality. I understand that I've lived many lifetimes and in those lifetimes I've left, you know, a unique signature every single time and those signatures still remain all over the place. And that's the same for, for a lot of you. The things that you've made, the energies that you've given in this lifetime and other lifetimes are still there. Well, the other day, um, we were about to leave our home. So my three-year-old comes and tells me, Daddy, put my shoes on. Daddy, put my shoes on. So what he does is he laid down on his back and he put his foot up into my lap. And as soon as I put that shoe on his foot, phew, it was like I entered a wormhole and went into a past life. And I was there for, you know, maybe two or three seconds, but it felt like much longer. And it was a Roman lifetime where I was slipping my shoe on my son. And, you know, the emotion that came with that was overwhelming. I'm not someone who breaks down and cries um, a lot, but I did. I was filled with emotion the entire rest of the day because of that experience. Um, you know, and that experience shifted the the way that I'm interacting with my son, and it has it has you know the the change has been there ever since. So expect things to return to you. Expect things from your past to come back in full circle, and expect those things to complement who you are, not to change who you are, but to you know propel you into a state of oneness and unity that you've been looking forward to all of this time. A lot of you out there have felt very stagnant for a long time and you've been in the process of taking inventory of everything that your reality consists of and you know you're ready to place new orders with the universe. You're ready for the universe to deliver to you but we'll let you know that that might not be the right approach to take. And there are some of you who have been waiting for a very long time and cannot afford to wait any longer. There are some of you out there who desperately, desperately need to take action on the intuition and the creativity and the ideas that have been given to you um, all of this time. So we will let you know in this video that if you take action in the universe, the universe will take action within you. Put the work to you know, start doing the work even though you don't have every T crossed and every I dotted. There will never be a point where the conditions manifest exactly perfectly that give you <clears throat> the confidence and the worthiness and everything that you, you know, are feeling is going to arrive to you before you begin. Those things are cultivated during the process. Those things emerge when your creation is better than you thought it would be and you get the confidence to continue. The time is now to take action simply from the curiosity of what that action will bring you 
and curiosity is where passion and purpose and clarity is cultivated and that's what's waiting for you on the other side of the action so believe your guides when they tell you that you're ready believe your guides when they tell you that you're worthy put one step in front of the other and start making things that are going to improve the conditions here and help humanity and I will close with this so you should know that forgiveness in this incarnation that you're living in this ascension process that you are navigating is in the forefront of importance and a lot of you are pre preventing yourself from moving on into the next phase because there are individuals in your past that you have refused or even written off the idea of forgiving them well, I will challenge you in this video to forgive the ones who have wronged you in your life and your response to that might be they've done too much they're unforgivable they're unworthy of their forgiveness they show no remorse for what they've done to me so why why do I owe them forgiveness you don't owe them forgiveness you owe yourself forgiveness and if you let that individual who has burdened you continue to do so you are accepting that their imbalance that they're created for you is an important component in your reality forgive the ones who have done you wrong for your own sake not for them anyway we will leave you with that thank you very much everybody goodbye